All right, all right, all right. Chat, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Hope we're doing well today. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, oh dear, that's a problem, isn't it? Okay, we go like this. We'll just try that again. <laughs> okay, hello, chat. Welcome to the stream. I hope we're doing well today. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat, everybody. Let's see who we got. Goncast, welcome to the chat. First on YouTube. Ramsey, of course, first on Facebook. Welcome to the chat, guys. Hope you're doing well. Xperia, welcome to the chat, dude. Hope we're doing well today. DK, welcome. Hope you're doing very well. Good to see you again. Uh, Xperia says, I think there's a maintenance issue with the with uh, with aircraft. What do you mean by that, Xperia? Uh, Jaspology, welcome to the chat and uh, good evening to you. DK, Zach Attack, welcome to the chat over on Twitch. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Good to see you. Uh, Marino, welcome to the chat, dude. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Good to see you on Facebook. And uh, everyone, welcome. Uh, Fenner as well, welcome to the chat on Facebook. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today is going to be a relatively short stream today, guys. Uh, don't have too much time this evening, but uh, we are going to get some flying in. Nevertheless, uh, we're going to be flying on VATSIM today into uh, Helsinki from uh, Stockholm Alanda Airport. And uh, we're going to be flying into Helsinki. They've got a VATSIM event on there. So it should be fully staffed, fully staffed there once we arrive. I believe it starts at 6 p.m. So, yeah, there should be controls on when we get there. And uh, there are currently uh, controllers on in this airspace where we are currently. I believe we've got Sweden control on at the moment. Hopefully they don't log off before we have chance to move. Um, and uh, we do have a center controller in Helsinki as well. So we should have full ATZ coverage for this flight, which is very, very nice. Uh, we're obviously flying in the A32NX today, of course. And um, hopefully we don't get any crashing issues today. So I've done a bit of testing since the previous stream chat. And... Um, I haven't, haven't been able to really establish what the, the cause of the crashes is, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, it's very strange. I've done two flights since the crash has happened in the last stream. I've actually repeated the exact same flight that we did in the last stream twice now. And it didn't crash either time. And I didn't change anything in my community folder. So I'm completely baffled as to what caused it. Um, so fingers crossed it doesn't reoccur today again like I say really not sure what caused it um, I have removed AIG now um, however I wasn't running AIG when I did the test flights so again I'm not sure if that was potentially related to it um, but we'll see we're using FSLTL today for the model matching on VATSIM and um, they've, they've updated that with a few more uh, models and whatnot so hopefully it should be uh, quite nice to see some new models um well if they actually are on vatsim but we'll, we'll see what happens and um yeah let's get going anyway guys i don't have too much time today like i say so we're just going to get cracking with things generic pilot welcome to the chat dude hope you're doing well and some of you guys and uh, i i want to thank you guys as well for for tagging me i i got a few people tagging me in various posts by the fly-by-wire team saying that they added the efb to the uh, first officer side in the a32nx which is really cool actually i got yeah like i say a few people tagged me there and yeah i uh I put a bit of a smile on my, on my face <laughs> so yeah we've got that uh, version installed today and uh we're gonna give it a go i've adjusted my cameras so that we can access that uh using the instrument views so yeah it should be pretty cool let's get going all right so we're here at Stockholm, Alanda. Let's just have a quick look first of all. We've, oh, what in the dickens? Okay, that's strange. That's the time I wanted anyway. It looks like the weather just had like a major update there where I click fly now. Um, nevertheless, let's have a quick look around and just see if we've got any, we've got another player over here. I just want to have a look and see what model it's in. So I've got an Austrian A320 there. What we got over here? This looks a bit bigger, doesn't it? What is this? Ah, it's just an A320 again. Air France. What else have we got? Nothing really. Nothing. That's it for now. 
See, I was looking around this scenery earlier as well, guys. This is the Estobo Gaia Simulations uh, Stockholm. And um, overall, it is very nice. But uh, when you come in close to the gates, I just think the gates, gates look very, very sparse, if you know what I mean. Like, this one isn't too bad, actually. But some of the gates just look very, very sparse in terms of clutter and whatnot. Um, but other than that, it is quite a good scenery. Uh, this is based on a real-world flight today, and um, uh, we're going to be Scandinavian 708 for the flight. And um, we are departing from the same gate as which this flight would normally depart from. So very, very nice. And we uh, I'm not sure what gate we want to arrive at in Helsinki, but I do know it's Terminal 1. So, yeah, we'll see about that one. So we'll get uh, everything set up here real quick. And I'm not going to really explain that too much to you guys, as you guys have seen it a million times by now. So we're going to just uh, get things up and ready in the flight deck here. And uh, and we'll get cracking with things. We'll do a bit of a briefing once we have sort of set the ideas to nav. Uh, we'll get those aligning and then we'll have a look at the OFP and see where we're at with the flight today. And we'll get the lighting sorted whilst we wait for the ideas to do their thing. There we go. Okay, that's the last one. Great stuff. Okay, so we'll let the ideas uh, align now. And there's our little trusty EFB for the right hand side. Very, very nice. Uh, so let's jump over then, first of all, to the EFB and we'll have a look at uh, our OFP. Hey, Stephen, welcome to the chat, dude. I hope you're well. Thank you very much for the 100 stars there, mate. Thank you very much. Very generous of you, as, as always. Thank you, sir. All right. So then, so our OFP, we've got right here. We're going to be Scandinavian 708. Today's date, the 10th of March. We're going from Alanda to Vanta, which is Helsinki Vanta Airport. We're going in, in the A20N, the A320neo. Um, expected departure time, 17.35. It's highly unlikely we're going to likely we're going to make that to be quite honest but uh we'll see what we could do um i just didn't change the time on sim brief that's all when i made it i just did it through on auto uh, cost index of 15 ground distance 248 and uh, we are going to have a little bit of a tailwind today five knots on the tailwind and uh cruising flight level is 350 our alternate is uh is this airport here not quite sure which airport that actually is to be quite honest with you um, but uh, it's, it shouldn't be an issue for us. Today, we can't do a secondary flight plan anyway. So I'm, I'm taking those with a pinch of salt, as always. Uh, block fuel to 4278 is what we require today. And uh, looking a little bit further down, we're expecting 19 right for the departure on the Tor V5 Golf departure. And uh, coming into Helsinki on 2-2 left with the Lakut 5 Alpha. Uh, coming a bit further down, we do have a full load of passengers today. 174 passengers on board, so we're fully loaded. Uh, that's going to give us a zero fuel weight of 60.6 tons, so quite heavy today. And um, yeah, getting quite close to that max figure. And coming further down, have a quick look at the weather here, and then we'll, we'll move on and uh, start getting the fuel loaded up. So uh, we do have a Sigma in place. Uh, let's see. So we're looking at uh, severe mountain waves forecast. Now, this is valid on the 10th between uh, 1700 and uh, uh, 8 o'clock in the evening, 2000, 2000. I don't know how you would actually say that. Um, so <laughs> uh, between 5 and 7 p.m. Zulu time. So it is valid for us uh, in this instance. Um, now, we'll have a look at the significant weather charts to see where that shows up. And um, this is valid between the surface and uh, flight level 400. So that could affect us. Certainly, we'll take a look at that momentarily. And then we've got uh, weather at our lander here is... Uh, this was taken at 1650, so about half an hour ago. We've got winds 200 at 9 knots. We do have an ATIS online as well on Vastim, so we'll have a look at that in a moment for updated weather so uh some wind uh broken clouds at 2100 temperature of one degree qnh 1033 and then uh the weather on our arrival we're expecting well 
we're not expecting this. It could change, but uh, winds are 11 knots at the moment, 2-2-0. Two, two, uh, good for the 2-2 uh, two, two left there. And uh, broken clouds at 2,200. Visibility is fine. Temperature is 0 degrees. QNH 1035. So not too dissimilar to the weather here in Stockholm. And uh, we do have a uh, forecast here, uh, which we're going to have a quick look at. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't look like the weather is, is going to change too much. Maybe a little bit different cloud cover, but, but that is about it. Uh, so we'll have a quick look at the significant weather charts quickly and see if there is anything showing up on there regarding those mountain waves. It's not actually shown on here. And uh, we are mostly flying over relatively flat terrain anyway. So I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue for us. As you can see, no other significant weather uh, on the chart there. Uh, on either of them and uh, we also have the wind as you can see it's uh, mostly actually a crosswind at uh, flight level uh, 300 coming up to 340 uh, it is swinging round a little bit and then up to uh, 390 uh, again a bit more of a straight crosswind there so um, yeah very very small amount of uh, effects on the uh, speed of the aircraft there and uh, looking here, we've got uh, our elevation profile, as you can see, relatively flat terrain below us for most of the journey. All right, so let's jump in to the flight deck again and uh, we'll start getting things set up. We need to go ahead and request an ATIS. Alternate is Tallinn. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, uh, generic pilot. Uh, yeah, haven't. I don't think we've ever flown into uh, Finland at all on the... Uh, on the channel at all so yeah this is going to be a new experience for us so then let's go ahead and uh, we'll bring up our OFP here on the uh, on the fly pads and we're just going to get some fuel loaded in so we've got a block fuel of 4278 so we'll go ahead and order that I'll get that loaded in. Great stuff. Okay, so one thing I did want to do, though, is I just wanted to check out here because you've got these fancy jetways here at this airport, but uh, I don't think they're going to connect. So let's see if that actually works. No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. Oh, it doesn't look like we have any catering or baggage as well that we can use, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. We'll just ignore that and we are going to carry on. Right, so let's get an ATIS then. So ATSU AOC. We'll do in its prayers as well. There we go. And we'll grab an ATIS for our departure. Sorry, we'll just very quickly do that as well. We'll check this information in a moment. Um, but we're going to put departure. And we'll format for the printer and send that. And we'll wait for that to come through. We'll go for our weight and balance page as well, and uh, we'll send that. Let's get self-loading cargo on as well. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Too bad two axis jetways don't work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just this airport, in my experience. I have seen some airports where they have worked, but uh, yeah, it seems to be just this airport, really. Um... I think, uh, what is it? Helsinki has two axis that works. Also, um, where is it? In Norway. Um, Bergen, I believe. The freeware Bergen has, um, has two axis that work as well. Right. So we do need to open some doors here. So let's just open some doors. Just so we can actually start the boarding of the passengers, which we're going to do now. Obviously, you need the doors open for it to work on self-loading cargo. So we'll put that down there. And uh, should have some boarding sounds in the back here. Very good, very good. Okay, so let's see if we've got that ATIS through. Now we do indeed. Right, so we've got ATIS Echo at uh, 1650, so that may update momentarily, but we've got a Q&H of 1033, which is what I was mainly looking for here. And then we'll have a look at the departure runway as well, which is uh, 19 right. So let's see what was on our OFP again. 
Uh, 19 right was, was predicted. So that's fine. Right. Okay. So let's go back to data aircraft status. Nav database is current and active. So that is good. We'll go to init. We'll just check our details here. So we're going from Orlando to Helsinki, alternate of uh, Tallinn. We are Scandinavian 708, cost index of 15, cruising flight level 350. And the chopper pause, uh, 39190. Let's just check that on here as well. I don't know if that takes it from Simbrief as well, but let's just check it. Uh, so top of climb and the chopper pause is... Uh, let me just have a, have a look here. 393. So 39190. Okay, so we'll go 39300. Fine. Okie dokie. No problems there. Okay, cool. So let's carry on. We'll go flight plan. Departure 19 left. And then we're going to go for the uh, Tor V5 Golf. 19 right, sorry. v 5 Golf. And we're going to insert that. Great stuff. And then we'll come to Helsinki Arrival. We're expecting 0 4 2. I can't remember my runways today. 2 2 left. <laughs> We've definitely got some boarding music going on as well. I've not noticed that one before. Is that coming from self loaded cargo? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so 2-2 two, two left, and then we're going Lakut 5 Alpha. So let's go down Lakut 5 Alpha. And uh, no vias, let's insert. Go back to flight plan. Distance is 248. And the distance on here is 248. So that's bang on. Great stuff. All right. Cool, cool. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the chart for the departure here. And just check if we are going to need any ground-based nav aids tuned. Um, doesn't look like we do. Okay. We're going to leave that. Uh, actually, no, we'll tune the um, Arlanda VOR. Sorry, this is an Arlanda DME, in fact. So, just DME. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure this music wasn't there before. Anyways, so Radnav is done. We'll go straight to init B. And... Uh, so, zero fuel weight is expected to be 60.5. The passengers aren't on board yet, so we're just going to put 60.5 and we're going to put forward slash 30 for the CG because we don't know what that is yet because we haven't got all the passengers on board. Oh. I guess that's added in the current CG for me, so that will probably update uh, at a later stage. Fuel on board is 4.2 tonnes. That is all on board now, so we'll actually go up ahead and we'll turn the seatbelt signs on. And we've got a wind component of positive 5 for this trip, so we'll put that in as well. And I'm going to leave the rest of the figures as they are. And we'll do the perf page as well now as well. Um, we may need to adjust this after we've got the final uh, CG, but uh, for now... We will get that filled in. So we'll go for a flaps one takeoff. And oh, actually, we can't get the trim figure, can we, until we've got all the passengers on board. So we're going to leave the perf page until everybody is on. Uh, what I'm going to do as well, whilst they are boarding, we'll go ahead and get an updated ATIS for our departure. Just in case there's another one. What I'm also going to do is I'm also going to come into the AOC again. And oh, Wait, 
Did they remove the uh, pre pre departure clearance? I'm sure it used to be uh, there. Huh. Do I need to do it through here first? Surely not. That's not. Hmm. Hang fire. Hang fire. Have they made my uh, my tutorial obsolete already? <laughs> Oh, they have moved it. Yeah, they have moved it. Okay, fine. No worries, but I do need to make sure I go here first and connect. So we'll try to get a pre-departure clearance because we, we do have a center controller on. So um, it's, I mean, in my experience, oh, we've got a, no, we don't. Yeah, we've only got a center controller on. So let's tr see if we can get a, a PDC from them. So we want to go ATC com next page, departure request. And uh, we want to send this to ESOS. Great stuff. Okay, let's see if we've got that ATIS. We do. ATIS echo is still current. We'll go for echo and we'll go for gate one. And uh, we'll try send that off. Let's see if we can get our departure clearance this way. So departure request. Uh, this is new, actually. I, I've not not done this before. Um, well, it didn't used to do it like this. It used to be all through the MCDU. So we've got departure request Scandinavian 708 from uh, Stockholm Gate 1 to uh, Helsinki. 80s Echo, aircraft type A20 Neo. So let's send that off. And we'll see if that works. He may, he may not be able to give us clearance, but it, it, it does state he is using... Uh, CPDLC, so maybe he does, maybe he does. We shall see. Right, so we've got 58 passengers remaining. Let's see how it's actually doing through here as well, because I'm intrigued to see whether we've managed to sync that up yet in terms of the... Uh... Let's see, we've got 100 on board, 98. Okay, yeah, so it's relatively well synced, which is nice. Great stuff. All right, so we'll just wait for our clearance to come through then. And uh, in the meantime, what we'll do is we'll check the flight plan on the plan view. There we go. Let's see. ATC message. Departure status. Uh, departure request status. Uh, FSM uh, 1738. Uh, okay. Okay. Request being processed, standby. Okay, fine with me. No worries at all. So let's have a look then on the flight plan on the plan view and just step through that. So out to the south, left turn up to the northeast. And then it looks like we've got a disco there. We've got a manual leg, uh, which I think is actually going to be fine for us. We'll leave that in. Uh, so that's all looking good there. Fantastic. Great stuff. Okay, okay. So our initial climb clearance is most likely going to be 5,000 unless specified. So we'll wait for our full clearance to come through. All right, chat. Let's have a look then. So... Uh, that sim shouldn't have any effect on the sim stability. Um, it shouldn't do, but it, I mean, it could do. It depends, really. I mean, it depends how many aircraft are around. Depends how many people are um, yeah, flying in your close vicinity, really, because that's going to load in more models. So it could have effect on the sim stability, but um, I mean, I don't know with this sim. You know, it's so difficult to say. There's so many things that could affect the stability of this sim. It's, it's pretty ridiculous, really. 
Uh, Jaspology says, hi, I was the one writing you on Insta with the Lufthansa livery issue. I solved it. Thanks for your quick help. Amazing. Thank you very much for letting me know, Jaspology. I'm glad it helped you and you're able to resolve it. No problems at all, dude. Uh, Andy says, I seem to be having crashes related to the CRJs. Was just setting up an Air Canada flight in the CRJ9 and it crashed a desktop. Yeah, we had two crashes in the CRJ the other night, Andy. I'm not sure why it was, to be honest. But we have also had crashes in the A320 Neo as well. So... I don't know if it's just a, 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 a sim-wide issue that's going on at the moment, but uh, yeah, it's a bit, a bit weird. Uh, let's see. Bergen Jetways work. Yes, they do, Mariner. Yeah, they do. I think he's just released a new update as well to that. Uh, Xcode says he's playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. Great stuff, dude. Enjoy. Uh, Joe in Essex, welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. And uh, hello to you too, dudes. Chris, welcome to the chat, dude. I hope you're doing well. Good evening. Um, I'm not confident on the crash desktop front, to be honest, Chris, but I've done two flights since the last stream. I repeated the same flight that we did uh, last stream twice, and it didn't crash, and I didn't actually change anything. So it's, it's very strange. But um, yeah, not sure. We'll see what happens. Uh, the music was there before. Oh, right. Okay. I just totally didn't notice that before. Have I connected via the EFB? Uh, yes, we did that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Pilot Fisk, welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great stuff. Got it. Yeah, thank you very much for that, Mariner. Yep. I've got the details here on uh, on Vatspy. Yeah, I've got two messages on CPDLC. One of them is the this one, and then one of them is just the previous message, which is the departure request there. Cruise altitude is going to be 350 today, Xperia. All right, we've got six more passengers ready to get on now. I've, oh, there we go. Great stuff. Okay, so... Uh, revert to voice. Okay, fine. No worries. Let's see what it says. Revert to voice. Okay, no worries. So we're going to have to request our clearance by voice. No issues at all there. So let's just get... Let's get another ATIS then and make sure we are up to date on that one before we speak to them. So we've got all the passengers on board now. Let's go ahead and close the doors. Great stuff. And we'll just wait for that ATIS to come through. There we go. Information Foxtrot now. And the QNH 1033 still. Okay then, let's speak to the controller then on voice. So his frequency is going to be, I believe it's this one right here. Sweden control, that is correct. Great stuff. So let's have a look. 1184. 1184. Okay. Let me just check my sound settings are correct. I can't hear anyone speaking on this frequency. Um Right, okay. Sweden Control, very good evening. Scandinavian 708, stand one at uh, Stockholm. Type A20N, information for short, QNH 1033, request clearance to Helsinki. Hello, Scandinavian 708, Sweden Control, clear to Helsinki, bound to 235, golf departure, initially 5000 feet, Skok 5363, Foxtrot correct, QNH 1033. Okay, great stuff. So, okay, this guy's stepping on me. Nice one, dudes. Climbing in the pound, follow me. 
Good well, evening, Sweden Travel and Trade Air Contact. 7083, back base. Scandinavian 708, uh, cleared to Helsinki, Torvi 5, Golf, initial climb 5,000, Squawk 5363, QNH 1032, Scandinavian 708. Scandinavian 708, thanks, straight back right. We do appreciate your business having okay, you great know. stuff. Thank you very much. So we've got our clearance. We are more or less ready to go then. So let's go ahead. Let's go back to our NIP B and just update the CG. Oh, it's actually updated automatically. That's pretty nifty, isn't it? I didn't realize it did that. Fantastic. All right. So let's go then and get... Oh, what's happened there? That's a def. That must be a. Is that a bug? That is. I've never seen that before. Ha! All right. So we can't really get our trim value then. Oh dear! What's happened there? Have I broken it by doing the init B before the loading was finished? Let's just try to do that. There we go. Okay. 24.6 is the CG. So we'll go for about there. Uh, which is going to give us a trim value of 0 0.6 up. So let's finish this off. 1 slash up 0 0.6. Uh, flex will go to 55. And then the V speeds are going to be 3.1. 3, 2, and uh, 3, 6. So fairly high V speeds. Obviously, we are pretty heavy today. So, yeah, pretty good. Okie dokie. So, we are pretty much there. We haven't done a departure briefing yet, which we'll do fairly, brief, uh, fa fairly quickly in just a moment. Okie doke. So, let me just... Uh, have a look. So, cockpit preparation checklist, first of all. Keel pins and covers are removed. Fuel quantity is 4.2 tonnes. Seatbelts are on. Adirs are in nav. Bar ref is set to 1033. Current in the sim is 1033. I know the controller gave me 1032. Okay, fine. So, cockpit preparation checklist is complete. Let's do a quick uh, briefing for the departure itself. Okay, so looking here on the fuzz pad, we are currently right here. We're currently at Pier A, Stand 1, which is, like I say, right here. Uh, we're departing from Runway 19 right, which is up here. So we can expect to push back facing to the north. You'll notice this chart as well is uh, actually uh, marking the parking and departure routes. So this is going to... These arrows are going to indicate which way we would taxi on a departure. So we're going to push back facing to the north most likely. And then we'll taxi on down to Zulu Lima. Up to Papa Alpha. And then we'll join Yankee up towards the runway holding point. Which is going to take us up most likely to... Uh, well, it's going to take us up to Yankee 10 there. So fairly straightforward taxi actually. And then we'll depart runway 19 right. Uh, looking at the departure route we're going to be flying today, it's going to be uh, the Tor V5 Golf, which is going to be here. This is an RNAV departure, as we mentioned earlier, max 250 knots below flight level 100. Initial climb clearance is 5,000, which the controller confirmed there. Uh, so we're going to basically depart here. 184 track initially to Sierra Alpha 708. And then out towards 2,500 feet, in which point we're going to initiate a left turn out towards uh, Sierra Alpha 554, which is a max 205 knots. Uh, we're then going to join the uh, 065 track out towards Sierra Alpha 509 and then a 055 track to Torvi. And that's the departure, really. So we do want to check that this restriction is in the MCDU. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and check that now. Transition altitude 5,000 feet and we'll need to contact Stockholm departure uh, when instructed by tower. Now we've only got a center controller on at the moment so we won't actually need to bother with that. And the airport elevation I didn't mention earlier on is uh, 138 feet here at Stockholm. So that is our departure briefing. Let's jump back into the flight there. Let's just check on the MCDU that we've got those restrictions in place. Uh, so let's go ahead and just set it on all of these. So 205. 
we're going to set it on all of these initial fixes because at the moment I don't believe the uh, constraints work in a, the proper manner. So we're going to go for 205 on all of these out to SA554 uh, uh, here, uh, which already has a restriction in. So that's fine. And uh, that is all good to go. So we are just about ready there. I think uh, we'll go ahead and start the APU now. So APU master on and APU starter. We'll go ahead and get the fuel pumps on now as well. And whilst waiting for that, uh, well, no, we'll just wait. We'll just wait. All right, chat, how are we doing? Dave, welcome to the chat, dude. No problem at all, mate. Absolute pleasure. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Flypad version 3 looks decent. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've not really had too much chance to look at it yet, but um, I think I've seen some, some early screenshots. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close all of these requests off now because they're all more or less invalid because he wouldn't give us the clearance. But what we can do is we can go ATC com connection. And I've just realized this, this, this new way that they're doing it now, um, which I imagine is more realistic with this. This has actually made my video that I made about CPDLC completely redundant, which is quite unfortunate. Um, but let's go ahead and connect to ESOS like so. And we'll notify. Uh, so at least we're connected to them for after departure now then apu is a veil let's go ahead and start the chrono get that timer on for the warm-up let's have a quick look around we've got another scandinavian next to us a 320 very nice indeed that's about it it's very quiet here at uh, alanda on vatsim at the moment let's see what our departure time here is departure in one minute all right now, shall we wait for the APU to start or shall we just keep the passengers happy? What are we going to do, chat? What are we going to do? I think we should just go for it. So let's pre-plan our pushback because we do know where we're going to go at this point. Oh dear, that's a tight one, isn't it? Doesn't look like the ground markings are proper on this. Uh... Mm. I'm tempted to just go straight back, you know. We could do that, maybe. We're kind of pushing into the opposite stand there, though, aren't we? Maybe we just go like that. No, I think we just go straight back. I don't think I'm going to... Okay. Let's just go straight back because uh, this airport scenery is a bit... A bit poo. Eh. Oops. Escape does not close that window. I keep forgetting. Let's see. Ah, uh, we should be alright actually, I think. Let's try it. Yeah, let's go like that. And we shall get the tug connected. Get the APU bleed on, turn the external power off. Okay, so before start checklist, parking brake is set, take off speeds and thrust. Take off speeds are 3132 and 36, we're flexing to 55 degrees. And that is set on both sides, windows are closed. And uh, we'll go ahead and lock the cockpit door now as well. And put the transponder. I haven't actually set this yet, so 5363. Reset the chrono now. And uh, the beacon lights. We'll turn that on once we've got our clearance to push. 118 Arsenal 875 Austrian 345. Um, thank you for the service and have a beautiful day. Bye bye. Thanks for playing. Goodbye. Scandinavian 708, stand one at Stockholm, ready for push and start. Scandinavian 708, push back and start up, approved. Push and start approved, Scandinavian 708. 
Okay, we are approved. Where's the tug? What the hell? I think this airport's a bit foobar, isn't it, chat? Let's get the beacon light on anyway. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just use the keyboard shortcut and see what happens. Hmm. It didn't want to work. Don't forget replay. We'll just do it like this, chat, because this airport's a bit messed up with the ground services, isn't it? Right. Okay, off we go, chat. Off we go. Oh my god, the frames. Okay, chat. So, engine mode selector two, ignition start, and uh, engine two starts. Is this free or pay where it's the free one that came with the uh, Scandinavia update? Look at that shiny wing. That is one shiny wing. I'm just going to stop it there, chat, because we don't really have too much room to go any further, do we? I'll set the parking brake there. Okay. Okay, engine two is a veil. We'll go for engine one starts. No PTU. Did I miss it? All right, fine with me. Lil Pop, welcome to the chat, dude. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Claire, welcome to the chat. Good evening. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Fly by wire on Xbox. It's not available on Xbox at the moment. But uh, yes, generic pilot. It doesn't look like there's ground crew at that gate for some reason. Very strange. Um, Ochtinsky, welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well. I am not a pilot, no. All right, let's have a look. Okay, engine one is now a veil. Let's put the engine mode selector back to norm, which doesn't seem to work properly anymore. Very strange. Okay then, so we'll get the APU bleed off. APU master. Great stuff. Okay, moving further down. Now uh, well, I'm the ground spoilers. Uh, rudder trim is zero. Set the flaps to one. Auto brake to max. One plus F config one plus F is set. We'll put engine and engine anti ice on for this departure due to the temperature, and we'll go ahead and do the after start checklist. So anti ice is engine only. Uh, ecam status is checked. Uh, pitch trim is set to uh, twenty four point six percent, roughly zero point six up. 
and rudder trim is neutral. I have to start checklist complete. We'll do a flight controls check now as well. So, full left, full right, and neutral. Full up, full down, and neutral. Full left on the rudder, full right, and back to neutral. So flight controls check is complete. We are ready for a taxi now. Great stuff. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Scandinavian 708, request taxi. Scandinavian 708, taxi to holding point, Germany 1, line of right. Taxi to holding point, runway 1, line of right, Scandinavian 708. Okay, that was the most relaxed taxi instruction I've ever received. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right then, we've got taxi clearance. Let's get the taxi lights on. And off we go. Parker brake is released. So we'll just taxi at our leisure as we briefed earlier on, basically. It's more or less a straight line that we're taxiing in, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find. Gustav for two Golf Yankee, report indicated airspeed. Indicated airspeed is 290 knots, Lufthansa for two Golf Yankee. Lufthansa two Golf Yankee, number two, started his speed 270 knots or less. Reducing speed 270 knots or less, Lufthansa two Golf Yankee. Uh, three, seven, seven, five, five. Five. Welcome to keep up speed, number one. All right, all right, all right. I am just going to check the charts, though, so I don't get lost. This should be... Uh... Oh, dear. That doesn't look right. We are going in the right direction. I think the signs are wrong at this airport. We should be on Papa Alpha right now, but it says Charlie. That says Charlie further up as well. Ha! The signs are totally wrong at this airport. That's terrible. All right, so we're on the taxi out. Let's get the predictive wind shear and the weather radar on. We'll turn the TCAS to TARA now as well. Uh, we'll also do is we'll bing the cabin and do the same on self-loading cargo. I'm gonna rem I'm gonna minimize self-loading cargo for now. Okay, so taxi checklist, flight controls are checked. Flap setting is config 1 plus F. Radar and predictive wind shear on and auto. Engine mode selector is in norm. ECAM memo is takeoff no blue. Taxi checklist is complete. So this should be Yankee as well, but it says Alpha. I just saw on the sign just to the left there. You guys can't see it, but... Um, Wow, the signage is totally wrong at this airport. Tut 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 to Sobo. They just updated this in the last few months, didn't they? Got down for two Golf Yankee. Reduce speed two five zero knots. Reducing speed two five zero two five zero knots. Got down for two Golf Yankee. All right, chat. We're looking good. Do I think fly about? Do I think fly by wire make A321 NX for those narrow body? Yeah, I think they said they're going to do a 318, a 319, and a 321. Spoke 0214. All right, so we're just coming to the holding point here, so just slowing down a bit. Stockholm, Ireland, to Juliet Departures, Quoking. 0214, Oscar Eco Delta Bravo Alpha. 
Oscar Bravo Alpha, correct, and I have no altitude or level in your flatman. What uh, level or, or uh, did you do you request? Uh, we request flight level 120, Oscar Bravo Alpha. Oscar Bravo Alpha, clear flight level 120. I can break his sets. Flight level 120, Oscar Bravo Alpha. Single target after the Super 402, Speedbird 402, hello, Sweden, Skok 0766. Skok 0766, Speedbird 402. Skinner 708, primary one on the right, cleared for takeoff, winds 180 degrees, 7 knots. One on the right, clear for takeoff, Scandinavian 708. Okay, we're clear for takeoff chats. Contact Helsinki, control 1 to 1. We got our landing lights on as we're clear for takeoff. We also get the strobe lights on as we're entering the runway. Okay, so lineup checklist. Takeoff runway is 19 of right. That is confirmed. TCAS is TARA. PAX 1 and 2 are both on. Lineup checklist complete. Checking the incoming sector. All looks clear. Left turn heading 345 sectors, uh, left runway 26, left turn uh, 2 go, thank you. Alright chat, let's go for a rolling takeoff here. Oh, that was quite a nice lineup, wasn't it? Oh, not quite as nice as I thought it was. Side stick half forwards, 50% on the power. We are stable. Up to flex. Man flex, 55 SRS runway. Auto thrust is blue. Takeoff thrust is set. 100 knots. Chrono, I remembered. V1 and rotate. Okay, positive rates. Gear up. Oscar Bravo Alpha, request taxi to runway one liner. Call back shortly. Okay, we'll get the nose lights off. Lever climb, thrust climb, climb, auto thrust. AP2, disarm the ground spoilers as well. Okie okay, dokie, okay. so we should be going a max of 205 knots for this first turn here. And we can stop the chrono now as we've okay, come back. Heading 180 due traffic. Heading traffic to Scandinavian 108. Okay, S speed, speed is checked, flaps zero. And the speed is messed up, so I'm going to pull the speed as well. Top down, Cyber 2, go thinking. Right, heading 070, right, 070. And we're going to go to vertical speed. Oh no, I'm too late. God damn it. Scandinavian 708, climb down to 180. Climb 180, Scandinavian 708. Okay. So we're going to go thrust climb, open climb. Set standard as we're passing the transition altitude at 5,000 feet here. Left heading 075. Left heading 075, scattered avian 708. Left speed 210 feet, speed Okay then, chat. Beautiful. Ah, Roger. One minute is my five. See you later. Can I get one two five? See you.
Scandinavian 708, clear direct to Torvi. Clear direct to Torvi, Scandinavian 708. Okay, direct to Torvi. Great stuff. So once we come rings level, I'll go back to manage speed here. We're probably flying a little bit slow. Maybe I shouldn't have brought up the flaps that early. Speed one eight zero knots until sixty me. Speed one eight zero knots five. Me, me. Can even Sorry. Okay, so back to manage speeds. Ten thousand feet. Let's get the landing lights off as well. Reducing speed one eight zero knots for two go thing. Now we get the seatbelt signs off as well. Oh! What have I just done? The heck? Continue climb 290, Scandinavian 708. Alright, it's past 10,000 feet now. We're accelerating out to 290 knots. That was an extremely smooth departure, uh, chats. Right, so who are we going to get past to next? We're going to get past to uh, Helsinki Control, most likely on 1213, which will get tuned in. Contact Helsinki Control, 1213. Beautiful. A bit of snow down below. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, there's a lot of aircraft going into uh, Helsinki at the moment. Holy balls. All right. Which reminds me, let's go ahead and get an 80s for Helsinki just to be a little, just to be a little bit ahead. So arrival and format for printer. 118 uh, decimal 5 uh, Scandinavian. 3015 Look at that view though, chats. 80% satisfied. Uh, what model matching am I using? I'm using, using FSLTL Mariner. Um, it's not actually available yet. It's just an, a closed beta that I'm participating in. Uh, Finnair does this flight in a E190. Yeah, I believe they do. Yeah, I think also uh, Scandinavian actually run this one in a CRJ as well. Right, so let's check the 80s then and just see what we can expect in Helsinki. So they're currently using 2-2 uh, left and 2-2 two -two right. Uh, we did plan for 2-2 two -two left. See, it's always a bit confusing when they do this, but we'll we'll plan for two two left anyway. I'm just going to prepare the charts, and we're going to and we're going to do a departure, uh, an arrival briefing uh, fairly s soon, really, because we uh, we kind of need to. Um, it's only a short flight, and as you can hear, it's quite busy on the radio, so I want to just kind of get it done and ready. Uh, let's see, does the Helsinki control, do they have... Uh, no, they don't have CPDLC, that's fine. No problemo. Very short flight, this. Only 220 miles to go. Very nice, though. Very nice. Getting quite a nice frame rate as well right now, to be honest. I can't lie. I can't lie. Right. Okay, no portable devices. Do we need that on still? I don't know, do we? It's on auto though, isn't it? So it, uh, surely that only that should turn off after the flaps come up, right? There you go. You can get your iPhones out. Contact on the tower of one one eight to decimal five. 
Dann war nicht, dass man falsch läuft, dann soll ich da gut stehen, geh hier da. Hey da. Is it, uh, yeah, we will be checking the published holds, Mariner, that's for sure. I'm just looking at the charts now. We've got one at Lakut. That's the only one I can actually see, to be honest, but we'll see what happens. But there's a lot of traffic. One to one decimal three for Scandinavian 708. Thanks for your time. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Helsinki Control, very good evening, Scandinavian 708, passing flight level 220 for flight level 290, inbound Rickham. 7708, Helsinki Control, evening, ready contact, expect runway 22 left. Expecting 22 left, Scandinavian 708, thank you. Great stuff, 22 left, let's go. Oh shit, I've not changed the camera yet, have I? Sorry about that, guys. 22 left! <laughs> Dear, oh dear. Malon, welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well. Oh, welcome, dude, from FedEx. Amazing, dude. <laughs> Whereabouts are you based? I'm doing very well, yo. Thank, thank you very much for asking. How are you doing? All right, so 2-2 two, two left is expected. Claire, thank you very much for sharing the stream as well. Sorry if I missed that earlier on. Look at this. Beautiful. A very good, very nice. All right, chat. Let's have a look at our charts for the arrival then. Um, we probably are going to get a further climb clearance at some point soon. Although, I don't know, actually. They might cut us off early, to be honest. Um, nevertheless. Nevertheless. Let's do a depart uh, an arrival briefing into Helsinki. All right, chat. So here we go. We are going to be arriving at uh, Helsinki, Finland, EFHK, and uh, the airport elevation is 180 feet. The transition level we can check on the 80s. We haven't just checked that quite yet, but we'll have a look at that. Uh, so just giving this a quick read. ATC vectors the aircraft to final approach. Um, if the traffic situation requires, so that's probably going to be fairly likely. Stars must be flown uh, according to the defined, defined clearance. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to be flying the Lakut 5 Alpha. It is a RNAV arrival from runway 22 left. Uh, so this. So this is going to take us in from Lakut, flight level 100 or above. Uh, we can also identify Lakut with the Helsinki VOR with uh, radial 272 and 32.6 DME. Um, that will give us the uh, same position as Lakut there. We don't need to do that though, we have our nav capability. Uh, so from Lakut, we're going to go 5 miles 074 track to Marom, which is max 250 knots. Then we're going to go Vibeb and track 076 to Hotel Kilo 942. Then 0901 track 9.9 .9 miles to Hotel Kilo 9501. And then 038 track 5 miles to Last 2, which is minimum 3,000 feet. And then out to Cavi 3 miles later on the same track. Max 220 knots and 3,000 feet minimum. So we'll check all this on the uh, MCDU. Uh, quite a few restrictions there. We do have a holding over Lakut here, uh, which is a inbound course of 069er, and, and, uh, which will give us a uh, outbound course of 249er. Max 230 knots in the holding and uh, minimum holding altitude is flat level 100. Uh, so we may need to actually hold there. We shall see how we get on. Now... I can see we're level off at 290 here, so we'll have to see if the controller gives us any further clearance. Um, so from Cavi, we can expect to be vectored from that point. Looking at the ILS chart here, we've got 2-2 uh, two, two left. This is the ILS for 2-2 two, two left. 
Localizer frequency is 110.3 and the final approach course is 218 degrees. Runway elevation is 149 feet and the highest MSA is 2,200 feet. Uh, we can expect simultaneous parallel instrument instrument approaches here. And uh, this is going to take us in initially to Bifex, which is the platform altitude of 3,000 feet here. And uh, Tixed is our final approach fix where we're going to continue on down the, uh, the ILS uh, for 8.9 miles. It is a three degree glide slope. And the minimums. 349 feet and for the missed approach we are going to be climbing straight ahead uh, to 5.2 HK which is the ILS DME uh, identifier and then turn left climbing to 2000 feet Cli uh, expect radar vectoring so once we arrive 22 left we're going to request a we're going to request a taxi to Terminal 1, which I imagine is this one. I don't actually know. I can't see what oh, it says Terminal 1 here. So we'll request a, a taxi to Terminal 1, which is here. So coming in on 22 left, which is uh, here. We'll try and vacate as early as possible to give a small taxi uh, so we'll try come off at Zulu Hotel and then we'll go probably we'll probably get taxi to down uh, down Zulu here and then a turn at some point and then down uh, Alpha Delta to Terminal 1 there so it should be a fairly straightforward taxi in uh, we'll actually check here and see if there's any taxi instruction for arrivals there isn't so we'll see what we get but it should be a relatively straightforward taxi there um, so that's it. That's our arrival briefing. Fairly, fairly uneventful, actually. We'll go ahead and just check in the MCDU, make sure we've got all our restrictions in place. Now, we haven't quite got to our cruising flight level, but uh, at this point, I don't think we are going to get any more clearance up to a higher cruising flight level. I could ask at this point, but um, to be honest, I don't think we're feasibly going to be able to get up and get down. It's just going to be pointless, I think. So we'll just continue on where we are at the moment. Uh, we've got a 48 knot crosswind, but hey ho, what can you do? Um, so we want to be Lackert. We want to be above flight level 100 here. So Lackert. Uh, so we're going to put in a plus 100 or 10,000 even. We'll put that in there. And that's on the descent. Uh, Marom is a uh, speed constraint of 250 knots which is already in there so that's fine and then we've got at last two we've got uh, above 3000 feet which is in already that's in great stuff and then carvey which is 220 knots and 3000 feet that's in already as well so what i'm going to do is after carvey i'm going to just make sure 220 knots is in on all of these other fixes here uh, otherwise it will messes up a bit i think so we'll put it in at bifx and that's it really because we should be on the approach mode once we pass bifx there so that's fine and all in what we'll do as well is we'll grab a another atis and we'll send that for the printer and uh, what we'll also do is we'll go to our NAVRAD page. We'll double check the ILS frequency is correctly tuned on 110.3, which it is. And we've got the identifier hotel kilo. We'll go ahead and remove these two VORs here. And we'll come to our perf page for the approach. And we're going to put in some information there. Now then. Are we going to get a higher... No, there's no point, is there? Let's just change our cruise to 290 here. Cinnabon 423, contact Sweden on 118.4. 
Uh, there we go. Okay, so it's sequenced to cruise now, and that's fine. Um, right, so our minimums. Three, four, nine. QNH, we can expect one zero three four. Temperature of uh, zero degrees still. I don't know how to. You can't really change. You can't. You can't update self-loading cargo, unfortunately. Uh, wind is two two zero at twelve knots, and the transition level is five thousand five hundred feet. Okay, great stuff. And then we'll just uh, amend this just accordingly to the uh, airport elevation. So we'll go 1,600 as it's uh, 100 feet above sea level. Just uh, It's more like 200, isn't it? But this should do us. But we're not going to need to go around chat, are we? We're not going to need to go around. Very nice. Sorry, I realize I've done a lot of talking today, chat, but there's a lot, lot going on. Okay, we've got land ASAP uh, due to the fuel on board being below three tons. Arrival. Runway 22 left, when ready, descent flight level 100. Cleared, Lackert 5 Alpha, arrival runway 22 left. Uh, say again, altitude for Scandinavian 708. Scandinavian 708, when ready, descent flight level 100. When ready, descent flight level 100, Scandinavian 708. Alright, great stuff. So, we can do a quick yeah, calculation. Yeah. Uh, triple two, flight level 370, overhead. So we've got Lackett. Uh, we want to be above flight level 100 at Lackett. Uh, so we'll try and get there at flight level 100. We've got 79 miles to go. And uh, 19,000 feet to descend. So we'll do a quick uh, calculation. 57 miles approximately. Oops. So we'll descend in a little bit. A little bit later on. Finet 334, clear to lose at 4-alpha arrival, runway 22 left. When at Maram, I have a 350. Clear to lose at 4-alpha, 422 left, and we're in No, I don't. It's just, it's just showing up there for some reason. I don't know why, but it's not actually in there as a constraint, so there's not really anything I can do about that, unfortunately. And you can see it's not actually showing on the ND either. That's why I didn't mention it before. Thank you very much for that, Neil, though. Wayne, welcome to the chat, dude. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Virch Pilot, welcome to the chat as well, dude. Oh, this is your hometown. Fantastic, dude. Fantastic. Have you checked out the scenery yet for Helsinki? Hey, hey, so welcome to the chat, dude. Good to see you, brother. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mal uh, Malon, no worries at all, dude. Maced in Memphis. Oh, fantastic. Well, I should have guessed, really, shouldn't I? But yeah, great stuff, mate. Great stuff. Yeah, I find cargo operations extremely fas fascinating, to be quite honest. So that is uh, that is very, very cool. All right. Turn the anti-ice off. That's probably burning us a little bit of extra fuel. But uh, yeah, I guess... Maybe we've burnt a little bit more fuel because we're, we're, we're cruising at a slightly lower altitude than what was what was expected. So let's see here. So initially on our original cruising altitude, we're expecting winds at three four zero at zero three zero. Yeah, so a little bit lighter winds above us, but uh, they didn't let us climb that high, so... Uh, Companion X, uh, Compilation X, sorry, welcome to the chat, hope you're doing well, good to see you, welcome, welcome, welcome. Haha, <laughs> Generics pilots, uh, fired up the sauna and brought out the licorice, very nice dude, very, very nice indeed.
Now then, let's have a quick look. Look at these clouds. Holy. All right, let's just have a quick look here. So we've got um, we've got our descent winds here. So the wind should be decreasing as we get a little bit further on. One seven seven two wind ready. The winds are a bit lower, a bit uh, a bit uh, less below us actually. So I think what I might do is I might actually just start the descent now, even though it's a little bit early. Uh, actually, it's not early at all now. It's it's about right. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So uh, flat level 100 is blue and set. Thrust idle, open descent. Right, so the next frequency we're probably going to get passed to is Helsinki Approach, which is 119.1, so we'll get that tuned in as well. And then, and then on uh, VHF2, I'm going to tune in the... Uh, tower on the ground. So tower is on 1186. And the ground frequency is 1218. Great stuff. Nice and prepared today. Very good, very good. All right, so we're descending. Uh, we're going to need a uh, descent rate of about 2,000 feet per minute to descend at 3 degrees, which we uh, are. So that's fine. That's what base our calculations on. Great stuff. Uh, we've got land ASAP still. I'm pretty sure we can't clear that off, but never mind. Contact Sweden, 118, does not fall off from the first Kalima. Good evening, bye. Right, chat. This is going so smoothly today. What is going on? Oh, look at that out the window. That is just stunning, isn't it, guys? That is absolutely unbelievable, Jeff. That is a, that's one of the best scenes I've seen in this sim. That just looks so good. <laughs> Boxhead, thank you very much for the uh, follow on Twitch. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Atlanta 222, clear to Lockwood 5 Alpha, arrival, runway 22 left. When ready, descent flight level 100. I'm very pleased that we got all of the uh I'm very pleased that we got all of the runways and uh stars that we planned for. Always makes things easier. Jack, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, did we get another ATIS? No, we didn't. Let's grab another ATIS just to stay up to date. And uh, we'll go ahead and do a performance calculation for the landing. So we'll come to our landing calculator. We're going to be EFHK. We'll get the uh, meta pulled in. Runway altitude is 149 feet. Runway heading is uh, 218. Helsinki Control, good day, Pobeda 535, uh, outbound around, flight level 360. Pobeda 535, Helsinki Control, contact. Just looking for the right chart here. Okay. 1772, contact Polka uh, 1. Landing distance available is going to be 3182. 135, And our approach speeds is going to be. 132 knots so fairly 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 rapid compared to what we're used to uh, landing weight expected is going to be uh, 60 62856 
And we're going to go flaps full. And we are going to use reverse thrust. Runway condition, we can check on the 80s. It does say clear and dry. So we're going to put dry and we'll calculate. So we can use low auto brake. Uh, however, I am going to use medium on this occasion because I do want to leave the runway at uh, the earliest possible intersection to cut down on taxi time. Uh, this is the last flight of the day, so we don't need to worry about the uh, brake temperature either. So no issues at all there. Uh, can I have none on the front second, please? All right, so let's see how our progress is looking. Uh, 21 miles to Lakut, 21 miles. And uh, we're at flight level 172, so we're a little bit above our vertical profile, but it's not... It's not a big deal because we need to be above flight level 100 here, not at one flight level 100, so I'm absolutely fine with that. The traffic seems to have died down a little bit, so we're not actually... Um, we probably won't need to do any holding here, I guess. Just checking the TCAS is on below. It is. All right, we're looking good, chat. Look at that, though. Little puffy clouds everywhere. Love to see it. One one nine one Scandinavian seven zero eight. Thank you for your time. Bye bye. Finner three three four turn left heading zero seven zero. Left zero seven zero Finner three three four. Helsinki Radar, very good evening. Scandinavian 708, passing flight level 143 for flight level 100, inbound Lackert. Scandinavian 708, Helsinki Radar, Radar, contact. So, runway 22 left. One way 22 left, we also have Juliet, Scandinavian 708. Radar. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It does say land ass up, yes. Good. It's because the fuel is below three tons. That must be a new thing they added. I guess the sim brief profile hasn't been updated. Uh, Luca, welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well. Looks cold there. Yes, it is. Zero degrees, apparently. Finner 334, continue left turn, heading 040. So I'm going to be a little bit quiet now, chat, because I'm going to be listening to the controller. Luca says he has a problem on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, I'm not sure what you're referring to there, Luca. It depends what aircraft you're using, because not many aircraft have VNAV in Microsoft Flight Simulator at the moment. Three, three, four, Helsinki is one of Jack's favorite arrivals on VATSIM. Amazing, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that vibe, definitely. I think always in Scandinavia, they seem to be very, very nice and welcoming. That's, uh, one, two, Bravo. Descent to 5,000 feet, QNH, one, zero, three, four. Okay, so we're slowing down to 250 knots. That is fine with me. Please repeat the flight level. Descent to one, two, Bravo, 5,000 feet. Descent right over 5,000 feet, look from that. Is there only a Scandinavian logo on the right winglet? Possibly. Turn right, heading one. Yes, there is. <laughs> it's probably because of uh, some mirroring issues to do with the winglets on the liveries. This is a stunning livery, though. So well done. Speed VS minus 700. Correct, 
Canadian 708, descend to 5,000 feet, QNH 1034. Send 5,000, QNH 1034, Scandinavian 708. Okay, we're going down to 5,000, thrust idle, open descent. 1034 is set, so I'm going to press B and verify on the keyboard. 1033 is actually in the sim, so we're going to go with that. 5,000 is blue. Turn left, heading All right, so we're past the holding point, so it's unlikely we'll need to hold. Okay, so let's do our approach checklist. So bar F is set to 1033, both sides, seatbelt signs. We'll turn those on. We're coming through 10,000 feet now anyway. So we'll get the lighting on as well. Minimums are set to 349 on both sides. Auto brake is medium. Engine mode selector is in norm. Approach checklist complete. The UK are welcoming too. Yeah, they certainly are, Mariner. They certainly are. <laughs> Turn left heading to a zero. Turn left heading to a zero. Send on to Bravo. Spinner nine or six zero. Turn left heading two five zero. Clear Dallas approach around and way to two left. That's number two. Report established. Uh, I think self-loading cargo is a lost cause, guys. I think it's fucked up on us. I don't think we're going to be able to fix what's happened, basically. Uh, it's not updated to the cruise, which is unfortunate. So we'll see what happens when we land. It might not work, but we'll see what happens. Oh, thank you, Radar. Hello. With that 777, what do you have flight level 100? With our 777, hands to Radar on way to two left. Break, break. KLM and 99 Bravo, turn a right heading 180. Okay, so we're in the vicinity of the airfield. The airfield's somewhere over here to our right. Reduce speed, maintain the 200 knots. We'll get the anti ice back on as we're going to descend through some clouds here. What we'll also do is we'll get the no smoking signs back to auto. 334, maintain 180 knots until 6 DME, contact tower 118 decimal 6. I confirm 180 until 6 DME, Finna 334. Finna 334, AFM 180 until 6. 180 to 6, contact tower 118 decimal 6, Finna 334, get my. Finna 960, maintain 200 knots until 7 DME. I believe We'll get our distance into the runway here as well. Uh, increase speed, maintain 200 knots until 7 DME. Uh, 200 zero zero until uh, 7 DME. Uh, right, we're doing good here. This is so relaxing when everything goes smoothly, isn't it, chat? Okay, I'm in 99 Bravo negative. Well, that's near. Uh, North Shuttle uh, 4 Delta Alpha, proceed direct to Proceed direct to North Shuttle 4 Delta Alpha. Beautiful views. Uh, we said 777, descent to flight level, uh, correction, descent to 5000 feet, QNH 1034. Down to 5000 feet and QNH 1034, with that triple seven. Oh, I like this track. Very uplifting. Bravo, turn right, heading two five zero. Clear that as approach on way to two left. Okay, speed alt star. Alt. Okie dokie. Okie dokie chat. I'm going to be quiet for a little bit here because I'm listening to the controller. North Shuttle 4 Delta Alpha, contact out to the control, 121.3. 121.3, North Shuttle 4 Delta Alpha, Team Rock. Alright. Scandinavian 708. 
Descend to 3,000 feet. Descend 3,000 feet, Scandinavian 708. All right, 3,000 feet, thrust idle, open descent, 3,000 blue. Let's go, chat. All that, all that leaves, all that's left now is just some butter, really, by the looks of things, isn't it? Let's see if we can do it. They've adjusted the flare law again in the aircraft, and uh, it seems like you have to be much more gentle now in the flare, whereas before it was like you had to be way more aggressive with it. But now it seems to have swung the other way. It's, it's quite strange, actually. Look at this texturing though on here. Look at down here where the sun's reflecting. Look at that. That looks almost real, doesn't it? It's so good. Sorry, I completely forgot about you. Turn left heading one two zero. Left one two zero, look for one two bravo. Alright, chat, you can see there's someone else just on the ILS there, just disappeared on the TCAS. We're gonna expect some vectors fairly shortly. Uh, two, two, two. Two, two, two. Has to be laid out. Laid contact. Some way to do that. Two to left. Okay, speed. VS. Uh, 500. Minus 500. KLM 99 of Bravo. Contact tower. 118. 2,500. 2,500. Radio altimeter is alive. Santa 1 2 Bravo, continued uh, uh, left turn heading 0 6 0. We look very low down here, don't we? Heading uh, 0 6 0, left turn onto Bravo. Beautiful. Manacle, welcome to the chat, dude. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. 777, descent to 3000 feet. Okay, alt. 3000 feet, what's up, what's up? Keep getting this cursor appearing. I'm not sure why it is. That that you see that? Why do I keep getting that? Look at that. What is that? And via B fix clear to ILS to the left. Uh, report established. What's that trouble seven? Okay, we need to. Two three zero or less on the speed. Scandinavian seven zero eight. Okay, we're coming down on speed, 230. We're actually going to go to 225 here so we can get uh, Lufthansa one, two, flaps one. one. Zero, four, zero. Turn left heading uh, zero, 040, zero, Lufthansa 1 to Bravo. Okay. Seven, zero, eight. After copy, direct to B fix. Clear that as approach from way to two left, that's number two. Report established. At the Cavi direct Bivex cleared ILS approach two two left report established Scandinavian seven zero eight. Okay, great stuff. We are about to pass through the D cell point here as well, so I'm actually going to go ahead and we'll just check that it's sequenced properly, which it has. We're going to go to manage speeds. That's going to bring us down to green dot speeds. And then after Cavi with direct Bivex. And we're cleared for the ILS approach, so we'll turn the LS push buttons on. Uh, we've passed through Cavi now, so we're going to go direct to Bifex. And we're also cleared for the approach, so we'll arm approach mode. So we've got speed, alt. We are turning right now, uh, direct Bifex, Scandinavian 708. Okay, so speed is checked. We're going to flaps one. Slowing down and going to tower one one eight decimal six. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, so speed alt nav glide slope blue localizer blue cat three single. Speed free, Scandinavian 708. Lift at the 1, 2, Bravo, descent. Okay, we're just going to continue at the S speed here. Descent, 3,000 feet, look from 1 to Bravo. It's doing a very strange intercept here, which is a bit annoying, but we're just going to have to cope with it. Descent to 5,000 feet, QNH 1. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use heading modes. 5, 
uh, and send us like this. Just so it's a bit of a better intercept because that's uh, what I was going to do right there is, is not going to be a very good intercept for us. Okay, so I'm expecting localizer star next. There we go, localizer star. Scandinavian 708 is established. Uh, localizer 22 right, 22 left, sorry. Scandinavian 708. Scandinavian 708, contact tower 118 one one eight six Scandinavian seven zero. Thanks for your time. Can we set a triple seven? I'm um, way too fast. I'll have to go around here. Seven seven seven. Seven seven seven. Helsinki Tower. Very good evening. Scandinavian seven zero established. Alice two two left. No Continue approach, Scandinavian Center, right? All right, localizer. Nine miles to go. Speed is fine. Okay, we're going to go to flaps two now, so speed is checked. Flaps set to two. Five. And we're going to go for gear down, so Cross gear down. Via Zulu Delta, cross runway, 2 to left, and taxi to holding point, Whiskey Delta, Scandinavia 752. This is 777, contact Helsinki Radar, 119, decimal 1. I'm going to pull the speed there. The speed. We've got glide slope start and glide slope. We're now descending on the glide slope. Missed approach altitude of 2,000 feet is set. Okay, we're going to go back to manage speed and we're going to go to flaps 3. So speed is checked and flaps 3. We'll bring the cabin. I'm not going to pay too much attention to self loaded cargo here because uh, I think it's broken. We'll start a replay here as well. Scandinavian 708 wind 210 degrees. 11 knots, 22 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 22 left, Scandinavian 708. All right, great stuff. So four miles to go. Let's go to flaps full. Speed is checked. Flaps full. The wind is totally different at this uh, altitude compared to what he just gave us. He gave us winds at two two zero knots. Let's see what happens as we get lower down. Contact with the runway. Okay, so landing checklist, ECAM memo, landing no blue, landing checklist complete. Let's land. What about disconnect? Flight director's off. Okay, there we go. Wind has swung round on us now, which is nice. So it's more or less straight down the runway. Getting a little bit low here, just uh, pulling the nose up. Runway Okay, we're visual. 200. Speed is good. 
We are stabilized. Looking Continue. fine. Continue. 200. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten, five. Okay. Spoilers. Decel. Reverse green. Sixty knots. Manual braking. And we are down. Beautiful. Did I slam that, guys? I don't know if I slammed it. Left contact ground one two one decimal eight. Okay, left one two one eight Scandinavian seven zero eight. Thank you. Bye bye. Takeover one zero by Tulu Sierra cross on right two two left and taxi to holding point Whiskey Lima. Okay, we're vacating left as we wanted to do. Let's get the strobes off and the landing lights off as we come off the runway here. Get the flaps retracted and the spoilers disarmed as well. Let's see, where are we actually coming off here? The signs are facing the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, let's just get off the runway so I can switch frequencies here. Taxi. Taxi to holding point Taxi to holding point. The signs are facing the wrong way. That's so annoying. This is a payware airport chat. Just going to hold it on the tow brakes for a second there. We'll get the landing lights retracted. The taxi lights are on. Strobe lights can come off fully. APU we can start as well. Scandinavian 708 uh, ground. Hello, good evening. Request taxi to Terminal 1. Finnar 903, hold short of taxi by Zulu. Hold short of taxi by Zulu, Finnar 953. Scandinavian 708, taxi by Zulu, Yankee, hold short of Delta Foxtrot. Taxi Zulu Yankee and old for short Delta Fox short Scandinavian 708. Okay, so we actually vacated chat on the exit we wanted to vacate on, so that's fine. We're going to take a left onto Zulu and then a right onto Yankee. So we're going to swing right around here all the way to the left here. Oh, there's a thin air there. Fantastic. Look at that, how that's matched up perfectly. Brilliant. Yankee Delta. So we're coming left here onto Zulu. Oh, look at that aircraft coming into land there. You can't quite. It's very, very small in the picture, but there it is. Beautiful another Scandinavian, I think. Oh. What is going on here? Is that guy holding short for me? Yes, he is. Fantastic. That's amazing. I love it when it all works like this. Beautiful. Welcome to Helsinki, guys. This is the MK Studio scenery. Looking pretty nice. The snow does look very good, doesn't it, chat? Get the anti ice off. Contact tower 118 After the Scandinavian crossing from left to right. Brake temperatures are looking good. Okay, after landing checklist, predictive wind shear and weather radar are off. After landing checklist complete, we'll turn the TCAS off as well. So we're going to come all the way down to the end here and take a right onto Yankee. So I'm just trying to keep an eye out for that sign, but it seems like a lot of the signs are pointing in the wrong direction here. So I think this is the, the turn we want to be on. 
Very fast turn there. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. I think I, I was a bit late on deciding when to turn there. Was there actually a sign? There isn't a sign there. Oh, bollocks. We... Next left and right onto Yankee and hold short of Delta Fox. My apologies, uh, taking next left on to Yankee, hold short, Delta Fox, short, Scandinavian 708. Okay, so I was still wrong about my turning. <laughs> this snow is throwing me off. The snow is making it very difficult to see the uh, the taxiways here. Lufthansa 1, 2, Bravo, right on Zulu, Victor Kilo, Alpha Whiskey to gate, Sierra 4, 5, Alpha. Okay, they're chats. The signs seem to be very sparse at this airport. It's quite disappointing for a payware because one of the reasons why I get the payware airports is so that they have the proper signage. Like, look at this. Facing the wrong way. Facing the wrong way. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Um, that wasn't for me. So many aircraft down here. Um, but yeah, I mean, fair enough. These can face the wrong way, but that, surely there should be another sign on the other side. Surely? And we're holding short Delta Hotel, which is uh, a little bit further along here. What have we got? We've got a Lufthansa there, 320 Neo, and then we've got a uh, generic. All right, so Delta Hotel is here. We need to hold short there, mainly because of this aircraft that's crossing. So we're going to just slow right down here. This guy's going to... Hold positive on you. That's it. Across the... Two Delta Fox Rock break. Break. Yankee Delta 2. Hold positive on. Stop. Stop. Okay. I think he said... Okay. We've just passed Delta Fox Rock. Can we take a right onto Delta Golf? Scandinavian 78. Scandinavian 708, hold position for now. Hold position, Scandinavian 708. Don't forget me, oh, Okay. I I messed up there. I think I, I think he said Delta Fox shot before hold shorts. Two, two, two. We've got a standoff. <laughs> Oops. I do apologize, the controller. To the controller. Alpha whiskey, hold short of Alpha Whiskey 3. Big Mike, Alpha Whiskey, hold short of Alpha Whiskey 3. Scandinavian 708, right on Delta Golf to gate 1 2. Right on Delta Golf to gate 1 2. Apologies for the confusion, Scandinavian 708. Okay, great stuff. There we go. Right on Delta Golf. Which is this one. And then stand one, two. Well, on air definite six. Lufthansa five, ten, one, two. Thanks for the service. Bye. All right, let me just check which stand one, two is. So that is a further right turn for us. I'm going to go ahead and turn the taxi lights off now as we're basically on the apron. Stand 1-2 should be one of these up here. Not sure which. Don't know if it's even going to be possible to see the markings on the floor. This is 10 in front of us. See, it was all going so smoothly, chat. It was all going so smoothly. Okay, here's one, two coming up on the left somewhere. This is it right here. 
Taxi lights are off. There we go, chat. Parking brake is set. Right, before I stop the engines, stop the replay. Save the replay. And we're going to save that. It's just going to freeze the sim for a second here. Let's turn the ATC down now as we're in the gates. All right, there we go, chat. Replay is saved. Okay, so APU is on. Let's turn both engines off. Beacon light can come off as well. Fuel pumps can come to off as well. We'll come down and turn the transponder off to stand. Sorry, we'll turn it to standby. Seatbelt signs can come off as well. Get the jetway connected. Get the ground services on the go. Is the jetway going to work? It looks like it is. There we go. I mean, it's a bit funky looking, but it still works. I think they've hacked it a little bit there. I think they've done like a two, three axis, even though it's just two. I don't know. It still works though. Very good. We've got some easy jets here as well. Love to see it. Beautiful. Okay, so parking checklist. Parking brake is set. Engines are off. Wing lights are off. Fuel pumps are off. Parking check this complete. Beautiful. Okay. We'll get the AP bleed on now as well if we wish. And the external power. Unlock the cockpit door now. And let's see what self-loading cargo says. Okay. So self-loading cargo is broken. We're just going to have to close that unfortunately. Um, but there we go, chat. There we go. That was quite nice, wasn't it? That was actually not a bad landing. I think... I did mess up a little bit. I did let off the stick pressure just as I was about five feet by accident. But um, I think it still was quite a smooth landing, wasn't it? Let's have a look at the landing report then. So if we come to Sim Toolkit Pro, complete the flight over there. And uh, we'll bring up the fuzz pad so you guys can see. All right, chat, let's go. That was butter, wasn't it? 1.02 on the G-Force. Uh, minus 109 feet per minute. Landing speed of 121 knots. Um, which, I can't remember what our v VLS was, but um, that sounds like it was fairly close. So I'm fairly happy with that. I don't think we floated too long either. I think that was quite a good landing. I think I was centerline and touchdown zone there. So let's see. View full landing reports. Oh... Oh, chat, look at that. That was perfect. That was perfect. Just after the 1,000 foot markers, on center line, in the touchdown zone, easily. You can't really ask for more than that, can you? You really can't. I'm very pleased with that. Very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. I wish I could uh, do a round of applause sound effect, but... Uh, I cannot. All right. Fantastic stuff, chat. Fantastic stuff. We can do a deboard of the passengers in here, can't we, actually?
No, maybe not. I think you have to do it earlier. I don't know. Anyway, chat, how did you enjoy that flight? That was super nice, wasn't it? Very, very smooth. Everything worked. No crashes. Very good. Very, very good. Could have gone worse. Yeah, definitely could have done. But yeah, Delta Foxtrot, I did go past that. And um, Leonardo, yes, I do actually have the charts. Um, but um, I actually, uh, I think I must have, I must have um, just forgotten what he said to me. I was convinced that it was Delta. Uh, I was convinced that it was, where was it? I thought he said, hold short, Delta Hotel, not Delta Foxtrot. I, I must have either misheard him or just remembered it incorrectly. So that's why. But I do have the charts and um, the snow is just making it a little bit more difficult to, to navigate. And I think the signage is quite poor at this airport, actually, to be quite honest with you. So I am going to use that as an excuse as well. Let's have a look at that turning I missed, actually. So I was coming up here. Or was it here? I was coming up here. And then I saw there was a runway ahead up there. So I assumed this must have been the turning I should have taken. But as you can see, chat, looking at this, approaching this turning, zero signage. No signs here, no signs here. So that's unfortunate, MK Studios. Um, no, no markings on the ground either. I mean, this, don't get me wrong, the snow effects do look very good, but there's no signage there. Um, so I turned right here and then I had to take an immediate left, whereas I should have just turned right here. Um, so yeah, no signage. So I'm not exactly going to really say it's entirely my fault there. Uh, and then we came down here and then that's when I misheard him. But yeah, welcome to Helsinki. Let's have a quick look around. I've not looked around this airport at all. I only just picked it up today. So let's have a quick look around. So it looks like there's a bit of an interior here. Not bad. Pretty basic, but it does the job. It looks really good from the outside, doesn't it? It looks very believable. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a good scenery. I think it's a nice looking scenery. I just think the taxiway signage is a bit missing i think the modeling is nice i think the texturing is nice the ground markings look to be pretty good as well got some signage 3d signage here love to see it control tower is uh no interior there by the looks of things but i think it does look really good i love this way they've done the interiors it looks very convincing Very good. Well, I can't unfortunately spend too long looking around this airport chat because I do have to head off, but that was a very nice flight. We're going to have a quick look at the replay in just a second here. And then I've got to head off, but this is looking quite nice. I'm quite impressed. All right, so let's close the doors then before we do the replay. So we've not got the doors hanging open again. Thank you very much for the sub on YouTube, Bokerd. Welcome. Uh, am I about later tonight? Probably not, Mariner. No, I'm going to the pub shortly. And then uh, I'll probably be uh, either straight to bed or um, just do a little bit more work once I get back. Uh, Generic Pilot says, Flying Fabio did a preview of the BA146. Amazing, dude. Amazing. I uh, definitely missed that, but uh, I'll, I'm going to look back on his stream, I think, and check that out because uh, I'm really looking forward to that one personally. Uh, will I be previewing any of the upcoming aircraft like the PMDG or Mad Dog? Well, I've not been asked to do any preview work for either of them yet, uh, Flight Error. But, um, I mean, if I get asked, I will certainly do a preview of it. But I've not been asked yet.
I do have one aircraft that I might be previewing fairly soon. Uh, I can't tell you what it is, but I do have one aircraft that I might be previewing soon. And it is very, very good. It is very, very standout. It's probably one of the best uh, prop aircraft I've seen so far in the sim. And that's all I'm going to say. In fact, it probably will be the best. It's so, so detailed. It's absolutely ridiculous. All right, chat. Let's have a look at the replay then. So we'll get it loaded up. Now, I've seen some people in my comments you know, on my YouTube saying that this doesn't work very well anymore. So I'm intrigued to see how it does actually work, if at all. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Right. Let's have a look, chats. Oh, okay. This is the issue that people were telling me about. Oh, this is strange, this. What's that about? That is very strange. Okay, that's big problem wow okay that is a bit of a shame actually okay so what is it actually doing there what camera has it put me on it's put me on the external camera eh? it thinks the aircraft's still down here oh no okay i guess we're gonna go have to go into the drone camera then and we'll have to try and find the aircraft in the sky, I guess. Well, can we do this? No, that doesn't work either. Okay, so it's actually completely bugged at the moment, this replay tool. Here's the runway we landed on, so we should be somewhere out there. I can just about see the aircraft. This is going to be a bit annoying to have to try and track it manually with the drone camera. Only going for a couple. That's my intention, Mariner. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to drive, so I can't really have more than a couple. Leonardo, thank you very much for the sub on YouTube, dude. Thank you. Right, let's see what happens if I play it here. Is it going to just fly away from me? Yes, it will. Okay. I'm just going to have to track it manually with the drone camera like this chat, unfortunately. I will save this replay though, and I will try and um, I'll try and watch it back once they fix it. Oh my god, it's so hard. Should have used one of the other replay tools. Go for runway cam. It's not working, Mariner. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, that could work, but I think it's going to be a bit difficult to track it when it goes overhead. So I'm just going to follow it in like this. Yeah, I'll have to track it overhead, but I'll also have to rotate the camera at the same time. I'm just, I'm just, I'm not going to bother, I think. So let's see what this flare was like then. Because I think I dropped the nose a little bit as I came in here. There we go. There's idle power. Holding the nose up. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my Lord, chat. Oh, my Lord. Absolutely smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. 
Right, so at least the advantage of this tool is I can actually press stop here. And we can actually rewind it a bit. And now we can watch it where I don't have to do that. I could just hands free it now. Maybe we can do a bit of this as well. No, we can't. Okay. Oh, I'm so impressed with that landing. That's got to be one of the best landings I've ever done. Yeah, I'm so pleased with that, actually. Let's see that one more time. One more time for the one. There we go. Just holding the nose there. Just holding that attitude. And touch. Can I get some some clap claps in the chat? Can I get some applause, please? <laughs> Yeah, hey, dear, oh dear. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. That was very nice. That was very nice indeed. All right then, chat. Well, I'm going to leave it there then. Because, uh, like I say, I do need to go and uh, go to the pub and meet my friend in about 10 minutes. So I'm probably going to be a bit late, unfortunately. But uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed today. Really, really enjoyed that flight. We didn't have any crashes, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, really enjoyed the flight. Really nice scenes coming in over uh, Finland here. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed pretty much every aspect of that. It was so smooth, so so um, relaxing, actually. It was quite, quite a good flight, really, wasn't it? We it seemed like we had all the time in the world to do everything, except for the taxi in where I messed up. But other than that, Really, really enjoyed that one, chat. So, hope you did as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I will catch you in the next stream, which is going to be on Saturday, which is also my birthday. So, I'll see you guys on Saturday for a bit of an earlier stream. It'll probably be about about 12 midday, something like that. Uh, Zulu time. So, hopefully I'll catch you then. And uh, have a fantastic Thursday evening. Bye-bye for now.